Hello my friends, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. I'm probably going to start this video out a little different than I've normally done. And it's because I want to do a shout out to uh, a girl that um, we've known for years. And her name's Tracy Holden. And she goes by Tracy Hip, Hip, Hipple uh, Holden. And I need to tell you a story. So, uh, some know and some don't know that I was a, and still am actually, a square dance caller. And uh, back in the 80s, uh, even early, uh, late 1970s, uh, I started uh, doing square dance calling for children. Um, we called them preteens and teens. So we uh, had a preteen square dance club called the Snoopy Swingers. And later on, we had some other ones too. But uh, back in the day, we're talking 40 years ago, uh, we had a, a, a really large number of kids. And uh, we're very fortunate. We're blessed with, uh, later on, hundreds of kids that were in this uh, square dance club called the Snoopy Swingers. And Sherry and I were in our 20s. And we we're just having children and the whole works and stuff. And uh, uh, when we were trying to name our first child, we actually took the list of the Snoopy Swingers back in the day, looking for a name that we loved. And some reason, I don't know why, and I'm gonna say maybe God pointed it out and it's pointing it out today. Uh, we picked the name Tracy. Now we spelt it a little different. She spells her name T-R-A-C-I. We named our daughter Tracy with a Y. And we named her after her, after her name. Why her name stuck out to us. We just loved the name. And uh, so <laughs> I don't know if I ever told her this. I just shot a note to her telling, you know, letting her know. But she, uh, <clears throat> our daughter's name is actually was from her name, Tracy Holden. And uh, you know, she was like all the other kids and stuff, but some reason her name and uh, her family, her everything was always uh, special to us. I don't know what was so unique, but it was pointed out to us, whether it was through God or, or what. Um, but what I'm calling out for today, and sorry, it's a little windy and cold today, but um, is it turns out our sweet Tracy Holden was, uh, <laughs> she was a cute little bugger. Uh, it's funny when you're my age, you just remember them as a child, what they looked like. And so when I see pictures of them now, you go, <laughs> it kind of blows your mind. Of course, she probably says that about me because back in the day, I was in my 20s and uh, now I'm hitting 60. And, uh, but I still have fond memories of those days. Uh, we all sacrificed our time and energy to help support kids and children. And uh, I, I have no regrets. Um, but today, uh, our Tracy Holden, and I'm gonna put a link in the description and a link in the title today. And I would like to ask anyone that does see this video to hop over to her Facebook page and send her a prayer. Because it turns out our Tracy Holden has cancer. And uh, I almost think that sometimes fate has a funny uh, thing about why her name, why she was pointed out to me and Sherry back in the day, uh, I don't know why. But I do feel a cause that for all of us that can put an extra prayer in and maybe just a little bit of support to help her get through that battle of cancer. And uh, some reason, like I said, she was pointed out as someone special uh, to me and Sherry. And I'm hoping that we can all take the time 
And I know everybody's busy, but please take the time, and I'll put the link in our description where her Facebook it, page is, and leave her a note, and maybe put in an extra little prayer um, to s support her and let God know she's a great person. Uh, she's been married, uh, from my understanding, a very long time, uh, has children, and uh, they need her. And uh, we need her too. Um, I am hoping after 40 years, um, she remembers us, and I think, I'm pretty sure she does. We talked, you know, she's followed us for a long time. And uh, I'm hoping that that bond from years ago and support from our people from all around the world could take the time and, and, and encourage her and put a prayer in for her and ask God to give her the strength and, and give her the healing she needs. Uh, I would really appreciate that. And I know some reason she uh, has a purpose in this world that God's pointed out to us. Now, I don't know her that well anymore. And, uh, but she's got a special place in our heart. Her name was unique to us. And, uh, and it actually is being carried on through my daughter. So guys, please take the time to find the link in our description. Go visit Tracy Holden. Uh, Hip, um, it's actually her real last name is Hipple. Um, so it's Tracy Hipple Holden, Dash Holden. And uh, just put in a little support and a little bit of a prayer for her. I'm sure she could use it. And uh, I hope this video uh, sends very positive vibes to their family. So with that note, let's go on with the video. But please, stop the video and find that link and send her your prayers. Let's move on. So today, guys, uh, it's been kind of cold and, I mean, it's pretty out today. But it's definitely chilly. And uh, so <laughs> i got to get my motor running. Because today we begin uh, building the, uh, our chicken tractor. Uh, for my laying hens and so this chicken tractor I'm building I haven't even started it I'll start it later today uh, also has to have two uh, one or two laying boxes in it so our Rhode Island Reds can still uh, deliver eggs to us but they're gonna go from the big hutch to the chicken tractor so they can start doing some permaculture work for us and those chickens are going to be replaced by new chickens, uh, new Rhode Island Reds, uh, to be our new laying hens. And these ones are going to be our workers. And I'm going to kind of call them that they're ready for retirement. <laughs> and we're not going to retire them in the freezer. We're going to retire them as chickens that have delivered to us eggs, plentiful eggs, <laughs> abundance of eggs. <laughs> and we're going to give them uh fresh grass and bugs and things that they love to eat every day um as a thank you and uh our those chickens are gonna die of old age <laughs> so anyway guys uh join me today as i at least get some of the framework started and uh get this project going i need trying to get it done before this weekend well guys before we start our chicken tractor project of course, we've got to feed the little piggies. So uh, we're working our way down there right now. <coughs> little piggies will be <coughs> very happy to see us. And uh, <laughs> just to go back to Tracy really quick, she's probably wondering, what the heck happened to you, Rob? <laughs> Used to be a square dance caller and working at an aerospace company. And now I'm a homesteader. And uh, she probably understands now to her age why. But uh, pretty funny. So uh, let's see if the piggies are out. Yep, they're out there grazing. There's the chicken. Chickens are very... There they are. They're hungry. Hi, guys. 
So once again, if you don't know the names, the brown one here is Mr. Cow. The one with spots is Maggie from The Walking Dead. And the black one with a couple of marks on her um, is Zelda. <laughs> and the brown one, Mr. Cow, is uh, our pig that we're gonna butcher later. So I'm just trying to prove to people that cows do have bacon. So uh, anyway, uh, they also like the, they also like my dogs. But right now they're telling me they're hungry, so let's get them fed. Oh my god! What is up with you guys? So uh, they see I'm holding food. So the trick is for they don't trample me. So I pour a little bit on the ground over here. So I have a chance to get over the fence and fill up their buckets. So uh, that's what we'll do. <laughs> I don't care what you say, they're cute. <laughs> Probably wondering, how can you butcher one of those guys? And it's like, my responsibility is to see to it that they have a wonderful life. Um, and then thank God that they uh, will provide us with food. Um, the other two, by the way, the two black ones, are females. And they're registered. So their job is to make me more Idaho pasture pigs. <coughs> and the brown one's not registered because we're going to have it butchered. But, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I've never really talked about how I feel about butchering. And the thing is, is uh, I've done it before and it doesn't bother me knowing that I gave the, the animals the best life ever. And pigs, oh my gosh, some of these oh, uh, protective farms, you know, they, animals live in cages and the whole works. <clears throat> Our responsibility is give them healthy food, <clears throat> let them thrive as uh, the creature that they are, and uh, when the day comes that everything is done quickly, smoothly, and respectfully. And uh, that's the balance of uh, nature. And uh, so uh, if you guys need to know where your bacon comes from or your pork chops, there they are, right there. That's where they come from. And uh, for those of you who've never raised animals and stuff, that's where they come from. <laughs> and uh, it's not always a pretty sight, but it's a reality. And uh, chicken too, those chickens there, that's where they come from. So uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on. Yes, and the big question of the day, and my uh, water is running right now, is do I still have a praying mantis? And he, I gotta say, is sitting on top of the hillside, guarding this place. Let's go check him out. I gotta bend my camera. Well, I'm happy I was able to provide him a great home. Uh, broccoli's coming up pretty good. Uh, little sugar peas are still growing right here. All this, some right here too. I don't see any little flowers yet, but they still look healthy. And uh, lettuce is thriving. I do have new lettuce planted. I do still have a bok choy right here, um, but uh, yeah, these are soon to retire, and if we don't eat them first, we'll give them to the chickens and the pigs. Um, and I've got new 
romaine and buttercrunch started in the uh, green room. So that's what's going on in the greenhouse. Still a lot of work. Got to get this place torn down and uh, all the plants removed and start pulling all this perlite, cleaning all the perlite in the, in the bags and the whole works and start the whole process over in the spring. But I got plenty of time right now. Well, it's been a little time that's gone by. I have got the frame started. Uh, I got to put my corner pieces on. I just cut those. Um, that'll make it more, uh, um, put more strength in it when we're pulling it around. These will be uh, up in the uh, upper half here. So when I'm all done, I'll be flipping this over um, because then I have to string my, my cattle panels. So I gotta have a little bit of space on the other side. So when we get those installed, then we'll put it on the ground, turn it over, and then we'll start focusing on cattle panels. So yeah, we're getting there, slowly but surely. All right guys, got the little uh, support pieces put in and uh, flipped it over. So next thing I need to do is add some uh, cattle panels. All right guys, here's a sneak peek what it's going to look like. Uh, I still got to kind of line up the wire a little better. But uh, that's the general idea right there. And uh, next thing I got to do is install U-nails to uh, hold down the bottom, get this, uh, this wire a little bit more lined up. And uh, yeah, <laughs> don't have much farther to go really. I think I gotta put chicken wire over the top of it too. That's probably gonna take the most time. I thought I'd show you how the doors work on this thing. So basically you take a square and it's gotta be uh, covered with a uh, chicken wire first. And basically all you do is put a couple of straps right here, zip ties, and this whole door folds up and over the top in order to uh, get to the birds. I also found out I actually have to get one more. It never fails when you build something. It's like, crap, I gotta go back to the store. I gotta pick up another panel because it just takes a little bit too much of this uh, wire. I can't quite make two doors out of it. Anyway, so uh, I need to build one more of these. And then I also have to uh, start installing the chicken wire. So bummer, but it's all good. So uh, it's getting there. Uh, this should be still a very simple design. Should be light enough to be able to drag and move around and it could hold. Uh, this is the size that Living Traditions Homestead uses for 25 uh, uh, Cornish crosses. Now we're just gonna use this for 10 chickens or I might build another one and just put five in it and then move them along the property. And uh, this will also have a either six by eight or a six by four tarp over it once I get the chicken wire on to give the uh, chickens protection from the wind and the weather. So uh, that's what I got so far today. And I'm gonna wrap it up right here. So uh, <laughs> tomorrow we'll, con we'll uh, continue this mission. So I ask you guys to please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. I'll try not to kill myself while building this thing. I only cut myself once. Uh, anyway, uh, have a great day, everyone. And uh, please leave a comment below and say hello. And we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.